Hi, this is Dr. Jack Allergy. You can follow me on my YouTube channel, Dr. Jack Allergy. That's D-R-J-A-C-K-A-L-L-E-R-G-Y. Or on Twitter at hashtag Dr. Jack Allergy. So I decided to start this channel because the field of allergy is a very large field as well as a very uh, significant growing field especially with uh, more and more knowledge of allergic disease. But one thing is that the general, pop, the general public as well as the media really has uh, a minimal understanding of what uh, allergic disease actually is and what it entails. There are a lot of myths that need to be debunked as well as there needs to be good information put out there for uh, people to better understand and to educate themselves so that they're more informed when you go into the physician. So that way you have an idea of what you might be dealing with, what you've been experiencing, and um, what questions to ask. Now, this is simply a YouTube channel where I'm trying to provide education and information to people from all different walks of life. Um, but if there are any medical issues, minor or major, it is important that you go and see a physician. Doesn't matter, uh, like I said, whether it's minor or major. If you have a medical problem, do not simply take advice from somebody who's on YouTube. Go and see your doctor. You can use my knowledge as a starting point for your information and for your research, but it's important that you uh, do see a specialist and not just uh, simply uh, go with what Dr. Jack Allergy said because it's important for you to um, see a somebody because uh, getting information uh, over the internet is not the same thing as having a physical exam, being asked questions and answering questions, something that uh, we're very limited in here. Okay, so I'm starting this channel um, and I'm going to uh, make many videos uh, that is going to uh, explain basically what um, allergic disease is, what is out there, and what your allergist can do for you. <clears throat> the field of allergy is really very diverse. Um, we deal with allergies. How silly does that sound? But there are multiple. There are seasonal allergies. There is uh, something that we call seasonal allergic rhinitis. There is perennial allergic rhinitis. There is non-allergic rhinitis and other types. There is asthma is part of the allergic triad. There is atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema. There is urticaria, also known as hives or welts. There is angioedema, which is atypical swelling of mucous membranes, goes hand in hand with urticaria, or hives, or welts. There's also food allergy, drug allergy, stinging insect allergy, um, and everything <laughs> in between. My focus of all these videos that I'm going to make is going to be choosing specific topics and explaining to you exactly what it is, what that disease process is, but trying to break it down even further. So giving you a definition of what, as an example, seasonal allergic rhinitis actually is, what's the definition. I also want to talk about um, our understanding uh, of symptoms of a disease, various complications that can go along with this. Um, sometimes even I will want to incorporate discussing economic burdens of an illness, especially when you talk about allergies and asthma. They are a very expensive uh, drain on the American medical system. Um, and then talk, of course, about treatment and treatment options that are out there and that are available for patients. And so hopefully along the course of our journey, we can try to debunk uh, the myths that are out there and I can explain exactly what the disease process is, as well as the steps that one can take to uh, control them. 
along with that, you're going to be able to leave comments down below. And what I plan to do is I will answer questions to the best of my ability and as I'm able by writing back to people and responding in that manner. But I'm also going to make videos on as frequent a basis as I can to um, have questions and actually answer them as if you were the patient sitting in front of me. This is going to be limited because I would ask probably a ton more questions, but it is a jumping off point where we can better understand what's going on. And I guarantee that the majority of people are going to have a lot of the same symptoms and the same questions. And hopefully I can provide an answer that is both uh, intelli intelligent, coherent, and that makes you feel comfortable. The other things that I'm hoping to do with this channel are to um, give patients a feeling of empowerment so that you realize and that you understand that um, you're not alone in this. And if you have a problem with your physician or your physician doesn't treat you right or is disrespectful or has the worst bedside manner you've ever experienced, then you know what? Kick that sucker to the curb. You do not need that type of physician. You are paying us and we are therefore your employee and therefore if I say that again that'd be annoying therefore so it's important for you to realize that you're not alone in this and if you don't feel comfortable with the doctor that you are with or you don't you're not getting the answers that you hope to get or at least getting an explanation as to why it's different than what you thought then you need to find a different doctor. Because if we're not educating and we're not explaining things to you, then we're not doing our job and we're doing a disservice to you as the patient. I will have a video that I will, it won't be long, but where I address certain things that I feel um, patients should know about physicians, things that upset us, and how we can better treat you. Because you are coming to us for advice and for help. And it is our job Remember, it's a business too. This is my business, but it is also my job and the reason I went into medicine to help people. Now, the reason that I chose allergy, asthma, and immunology is I love the field. I love the opportunity to see patients come in who are feeling not so good and leave or come back at a follow-up appointment who are feeling a thousand times better. I have allergies. Members of my family have allergies asthma, and so on. And so there's a direct relationship in my specialty and in my passion. And that is what allergy, asthma, and immunology is. And I hope that through my speaking with you, I'm able to get that across to you, that this is an awesome field. There is a lot of great things that we can talk about and great things that can be um, uh, better understood. And uh, it is my hope that I can uh, provide that to anybody who's out there. And so uh, I would uh, hope that you will uh, tune in for new videos as the, I post these. Uh, the first topic I am going to talk about is going to be uh, seasonal allergic rhinitis. It is something we're still dealing with the seasons right now. Uh, it is currently fall of 2016. It is September 29th to be exact and the weather is changing but you know what? Pollens are out and people are suffering. So the first thing I want to talk about is going to be seasonal allergic rhinitis and that is going to be in the next video. Please, please, please follow me on uh, YouTube at Dr. Jack Allergy. That's D-R-J-A-C-K-A-L-L-E-R-G-Y and on Twitter at hashtag Dr. Jack Allergy, same, spelled the same way. I will probably get more social media accounts if uh, people are interested in getting more information from me, and I hope that we can move forward uh, to have a great online relationship. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to presenting in the very near future. Bye now.